morning everybody welcome to the crafty planty life so this is going to be a vlog style episode i've just been so busy lately i haven't had time to actually record proper episodes so i figured that i'll just take you along over the weekend and kind of show you what i'm up to so i'm whispering because my daughter's still sleeping it is 7 57 a.m on don't know what day it is <laughs> it's thursday the 16th and um i have a pretty low-key work day today um, tomorrow's going to be much busier. Tomorrow, Friday is going to be busier, but today is just kind of prepping for my interviews that I have tomorrow. I'm doing interviews with some of my, um, colleagues for a project that we're doing. Um, but yeah, so we are still remodeling our kitchen. Um, it's been a long process and yeah, what else? Oh, we went on vacation. We were on a road trip for two weeks. We came back last week and we drove out to California, which was really fun. Don't think I would do it again because it was just, it was long. Um, I think next time we'll just fly, but my daughter loved California. Um, Arizona was very, very hot. <laughs> and then where else did we go? We went to Nevada, Nevada. And we just drove through Utah, which we've been to Utah before. And then we kind of drove through New Mexico. We're going to spend some more time in New Mexico. But yeah, we spent a lot of time in Arizona, which was really, really hot. The days were typically in the hundreds every day, um, which I'm not used to. So <laughs> there's that. Um, I did pick up some things on my vacation. Not a whole lot, actually. So I, w I did, as I mentioned, go to Arizona. And so we spent some time there. I went to a yarn shop in Tucson, which was called... Birdhouse Yarns, and it's got these little markers there, so those are fun, it's a little magnet, that's why it's they all attached to the lid. And then there I also got some yarn that was on clearance, and it's this brand, I don't even know how to say that, <laughs> this is German. And then it came with this, if anybody knows what these are, I'm guessing it's just extra maybe to make repairs. I'm not sure. I've never seen that before with yarn. But these are 50 gram skeins. And they're, they're going to be socks. I don't know if they're going to be for me, but they are going to be socks because they're like $5 each. So it was a good bargain for these. And it's in the color 7704. And then in Colorado, I think it was Salida that I picked these up. Um, there's a little store called Colorado Wool store something like that and i really like this color of patent croy i've never seen this color before so i got two of these and this is in the color i don't know <laughs> oh it's called clover colors is what it's called so yeah those are my only purchases in terms of yarn um and I do have a couple of finished objects since the last time I saw you. I made my mom some Mother's Day socks, which I will insert a picture here. I obviously those have been gifted a long time ago. And then I also made my husband's cousin um, two pairs of socks, which you saw the, the blue ones, I think last time. And then I also made her one in this color. They were both in pineapple yarns. Um, this was peppermint bark and the other one was burgeoning. The blue one was burgeoning, so they're two shorty socks. And this was my first, I actually had to make three of this pair of socks or three of this color because something weird happened with this afterthought heel. I'm not, I'm still not sure what happened. I've never had a problem with afterthought heels. Don't know what happened here. I, I was studying it over and over again. And I'm like, you know what? I'm running out of time. I just need to make another one. So I just ended up making another one. And um, yeah, it was, it was still, have no idea what happened with this sock um but i ended up just making another one because they were shorty socks and i had like a week to go to get it done so um i should put that picture of those here <laughs> so basically three pairs of socks since the last time i saw you and now i'm gonna get on with my work day and i will check in with you later and show you some more stuff
it is Friday, June 17th, <laughs> and I'm already like feeling like Friday. It's like 10.30. I have two interviews to do today, um, one at 11.30 and one at 1. So kind of getting prepared for that. Although I'm kind of like, my mind is like doing Friday. <laughs> like it's Friday. Um, so I'm having a hard time concentrating this morning. I wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that I've been up to. So let me show you some knitting first. I took these on my trip with me. So I've made some progress on them. Okay, so this is the Robina Shaw. I'm not really sure who it's by. I think I had the same issue last time. But I'll put the link down in the description box below. And I think last time you saw it was down here. So I have made some progress as you see here. So I have to get this count to like 187 stitches, I think. So I still have a while to go. I think I have just over 100 at this point. And then I do some lace and then I decrease, I believe. So that is my Robina Shaw and this is pretty easy. Um, it's just garter stitch. Um, and then I'm just switching colors. So I'm doing these two, which are the Brooklyn Tweed Peary in the color Cobbler, and then the Road to China Light by the Fiber Company um, in the Brodolites, I believe is how you say that. So yeah, I've made significant progress. Again, this is great car knitting. So I worked on that, and then I also worked on another big project, which is my half and half a triangle wrap, and I made it to the second color. So I finished all of, I think it's chestnut red. I'm trying to find a good way to show you this. <laughs> See, this is the right way. So basically it is, um, I finished half of the, the triangle wrap. So the first triangle is done. That's the last time you saw it was where that little rock stitch marker is. And then I started doing, I believe this one's called by Flamingo. And both of these are linen quill, pearl, Soho linen quill. And I started the by Flamingo. And then basically it's just going to be another big triangle here. So I used up. I think the I'm using the I'm doing the big pattern, the large pattern. I think there's two different sizes. And I still have a bunch of the chestnut red left. And then I have three of the the pink flamingo, which I love this color. I love, love this color. And I love how there's like a dark kind of subtle and then this pop of color. They were having a sale on the linen quill and I did buy more, so you'll probably be seeing more of these in the future. <laughs> um, and then I gotta figure out what to do with uh, cause I'm gonna have like a bunch of leftovers now because um, as you saw, I had a big old ball left over of the chestnut red. So I imagine that every color is gonna have a leftover one too. So I might just make like a blanket of all of the different colors that are left over. I'm not sure. But that has been my knitting so far. And then I've taken up another hobby. But this is an old hobby. I used to do this when I was a teenager, when I was like my, my daughter's age. So that was kind of annoying. I was getting a phone call and I wasn't sure what it was. So I decided to pick it up and of course it was junk. So, um, and now my husband's texting me. <laughs> Just that kind of morning. But anyway, I was talking about um, a new craft. Well, not a new craft, but a old craft that I started up again. So I used to do these a lot when I was a preteen, teenager. Um, I was really into making these little keychains out of like this plastic, I don't even know what this plastic ribbon, I don't even know what it's called. Um, but it comes in, well the one I bought comes in a kit, it comes with all these different colors. But basically, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you could either make them straight or make them swirl as you see in the middle. 
Um, I'm kind of testing out my skills or trying to remember my skills from when I did this like 30 years ago. <laughs> but it's really interesting how something I haven't, like I literally haven't picked up this craft in 30 years, almost 30 years. And it just came back to me so quickly. And I thought that was really interesting. But I want to teach my daughter how to do it this summer so she can make some for her friends and stuff. She likes making things for her friends, bracelets and stuff like that. So I thought this would be fun to do. And this one's going to be for me, but I was just kind of um, seeing if I still had the skills. And apparently I do. So that's really fun. Um, I used to make so many of these. My backpack was covered in these little plastic craft keychains. Um, so yeah, that's been another craft that I picked up lately. Well, this weekend is going to be a long weekend. We have Monday off because of Juneteenth. So just remember to uh, reflect and support black owned businesses. So that's something that I will be doing this weekend. And what else? Um, the kitchen is still, we're having a lot of, well, we're having a lot of issues with contractors right now because they're all getting COVID. <laughs> so obviously don't come to my house if you have COVID. So, you know, they've been really good about, you know, keeping us, um, safe but at the same time the project manager that we have is not very communicative and you know we never know when people are coming over to work on the house um so that's been really frustrating and it's been really so slow going you know i don't obviously COVID happens but at the same time the project manager has really been not great at telling us what's what's going on right we can't have to keep asking and that's not wonderful um so i don't think for future projects we're gonna be going with this particular company um which is a shame because the beginning process was wonderful it's just when they actually started the work was when it became a little bit challenging <laughs> um what else i have a few plants um my setup is getting a little bit different i just kind of switch things around all the time but when we came back from vacation i got a couple of new plants so i decided to switch it up again and i should have shown you some video of that but I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I've really been enjoying my crafting. I haven't really been starting a whole lot of new projects, although they might have been new to you, but they haven't been new to me because I started them and then I put them away <laughs> and then I bring them out and work on them. So I've been working a lot of projects, just not making substantial progress on anything. But I think that is it for now. So I will check in with you later. It has been a day. <laughs> it's 5.39 now, and Amelia has a friend over for a sleepover. So, I think I'm done with work for the day. And we have a three-day weekend, so I'm excited about that. I still had work to do, but that could be done next week. So, weekend begins. Um, don't really have much planned for the weekend we'll, have, we'll kind of see how it goes and hopefully we'll be able to do some crafting hello everybody it is saturday <laughs> june 18th yes june 18th and we are going to have a pretty laid back weekend. It's Father's Day weekend here in the States. Um, so I think we're going to go somewhere. My husband wants to go tomorrow. And then we're just going to, I think, take a, a little bit of a, a walk today, later in the afternoon, get a little coffee later, and just enjoy the weekend. Right now I am knitting on my Marquam knits. I haven't made a huge amount of progress on these. Um, can't really tell the color. It's kind of... We're actually having a cloudy day today. I think it's supposed to rain. So the lighting is not so great, but still in the first minute. <laughs> Again, I only do like 30 minutes a month on this one because I, I use my little um, Tiny Decisions app, which is basically like a uh, like a spinner. You press the, the phone <laughs> and it spins and it kind of lands on a particular project. And that's how I just I do my knitting and keep things interesting for myself. Um, I mean, there are... Uh, certain points that I'm just like wanting to knit on one project and I'll pick up that project but it's like days said today I wasn't sure what to knit on so the tiny decisions app picked this and I am putting in a couple of um rounds on it so 
I just uh, put some waste yarn in, told me to put some waste yarn in for the thumb. So there is that. So now I'm, I'm past the thumb now, which is kind of exciting. Um, I will have these by the winter, hopefully. <laughs> so I said last year. And then what else? I wanted to get another cross stitch finish, like fully finished object today. Um, actually, let me let me show you my cross stitches. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna do a little cross stitch FFO parade. So you haven't seen these. I don't think you saw this one at all. I can't remember now, but this one is done. And this one was, let me grab my, my book where all of my information is on. I'm just so prepared this morning. Okay, so this was a cross or cross stitch by Wild Violets. Um, they have an Etsy store. And this is the Cat Ouija Planchette. And there it is. Um, I did this on a DMC printed Ada uh, 14 count. So I bought this fabric actually at Michael's. Um, it came in um, one of those little tube, plastic tube things. Um, and it was, I don't think it had a color on it. Not that I wrote down anyway. And then the floss was just a black. So there it is. I think I'm going to put this in a hoop. Um, so that's going to be a later finish at some point. And then this one's an exciting one. I got this done. Our wedding sampler. I know you can see through it. I don't have a cardboard thing for it. There it is. And this is a uh, wedding sampler by park hopper bart <laughs> and i've been working on this since i think 2021 and i got it done so i actually want to get this one professionally framed so it has our initials our wedding date um this is based on the disney robin hood cartoon so it's because you have that extra fabric over here <laughs> i believe this was a picture this plus earthen um and then i used all of the required colors so that one's gonna be done professionally, so I gotta make sure that one's ready to go. And then I have a fully finished optic that I actually did last weekend. So here it is. This is a um, Quirky Quaker by, I think it's Darley, Darling and Whimsy Designs. It's a moose. And yeah, I made it into like a little ornament. I actually used nail polish for the frame, which has actually worked out really nicely. It's like a, a dark brown nail polish and it's going to be a perfect little ornament. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. And this is just um, some yarn that my friend hand spun and I had just had extra of it and I just glued it on. So there we go. Some finishes for you this morning. Um, as you can see, I wasn't prepared to do that, but there you go. Um, so I'm hoping to do another one of these trying to think if I have the materials I need but I bought a bunch of these little hoops just to make ornaments out of them and I think I have a couple more small ones that could turn into ornaments so I'll have to go through my stash and see what I have but yeah so that is my little cross stitch finished parade <laughs> so I will check in with you a little bit later I got some plants in the mail today let's open them up so here they are they need a little bit of a bath. Some of them are covered in dirt, but they're pretty cool.
morning everybody it is June I never know the day but it's Monday <laughs> and we had a day off because of Juneteenth and uh, yesterday was also Juneteenth um, and Father's Day here in the United States and we went to a local national monument I believe it's technically called and we did a little hike so you should have seen some footage of that today was just a kind of laid-back day and I just wanted to show you this is what you're looking at now is probably going to be one of the biggest pieces I, I'm going to make. So I saw Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. She was making this by the Blue Flower. It's called Huckleberry Farm. And it's massive. So it was really challenging to find a piece of fabric that was this big. So I ended up with an 18 count Ada. So it is, picture this plus 18 count shale. And it has, I don't know if you can see this on camera. It's kind of, it's more purpley than it looks like here. And I wanted that similar color there, which I'm trying to think, yep, it's the same color as the called for. So I, it was such a, an issue to try to find it because they had it on linen. I wanted it on Ada and I wanted it on 18 count Ada to kind of match the size of this piece. So yeah, that's how much I have so far. So you see here. It's this little section right here. It's the AB. So this is gonna take me like 20 years to complete this. No, but I really want it because I just I love it so much. Look at the little bears and the birds, and it's just such a really fun piece. And I like the little border in the house. So I really want this piece. Um, so this is much more of a product um, piece than an actual process piece. But yeah. So that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you're working on. I'll see you next time.